Welcome to International Web Conference uh, Advance, uh, Advancing Material Science in Applied Biology uh, organized by the Patandrao Kadam Mahavidyalaya Ramananda Bhogli and welcome to all dignitaries, participants and organizing committee to give me opportunity to present my paper under the title of the uh, Changes in the Protein during the Larval Development of Hilda and Delis Myself, Rajendra Sound, and I am pursuing my PhD at Shivaji University Kolapur under the guidance of the uh, Dr. Uh, R. M. Gezge. Uh, outline of the research abstract, abstract with the uh, research finding. Then, introduction introduction includes the formation of the Heliland Delis, cabbage, host, plant, insect protein, objective, and the review of literature. Materials and method includes the it includes the larva of the Heliandelis chemical proteins estimation and protein assay. Uh, then next result and discussion the result include the changes the protein during the larval development of Heliandelis insect uh, result and discussed with the relevant uh, recent references acknowledgement with acknowledgement of the institution and lastly references it include the 21 recent references cited in the text. The next introduction, introduction includes the cabbage head borer that is the experimental organism that is the Hegula angelis is a severe insect pest of the cabbage is the Hegula angelis is a phyto uh, polyphagous insect it feeds on the cruciferi vegetables cabbage and the other brassicaceae family the uh, taxonomy of the Hegula angelis that is the kingdom animalia, phylum, arthropoda, class insecta, order lepidoptera, family camaradi, genus cellula and the species is angelis the host plant, the cabbage brassica or like a capitata, it, it most the common winter cabbage, uh, winter cabbage in the edible part of the head and the good source of the proteins, vitamins and the various types of the minerals. Nature of the damage is the freshly emerged larva make the tunnel into the growing teeth of the uh, growing tip and the stems. It infected, it inspected should the weakened drop and drop without the producing any bird. Insect protein. In insects, proteins are required for the flying, reproduction, embryonic growth, with the signal and the cell membrane composition. Uh, review of the literature of Heliodelis. In few studies have been the carried of the Heliodelis, which is the paste of the cabbage. Hypothesis of the study. The studies of the protein activity of Heliodelis, it will be helpful for the understanding the physiological uh, physiology of the paste further will be useful for the control of the paste. It is it is a conclusion of the, our research. Review of the literature in many workers of the noted the detailed various aspects the proteins in the different insect species. Uh, references number 7 to 11. However, the information of the protein during the larval development of the Hegula and is rather scanty. Uh, therefore, the attempt has been made by the study of the changes in the protein activity during the larval development of the Hegula and Delis. Objective of the study, rearing of the Hegula and Delis under the laboratory condition and then the study of the changes in the protein the, during the larval development of Hedula and Delis. Then materials methods. In materials methods, it includes the rearing, rearing of the insects. There the is uh, infected head of cabbage were collected from the local market or near farms. The larvae of Hedula and Delis were provided the fresh growing tips of the cabbage. Full grown larvae head borers in the pupates under the stem in the soils. The pupa were collected from the cage in the glass jar, 25 cm high and 7 cm in the diameter. The male and the female moth are, uh, of Helula and Delis were placed around the glass jar for the pupation purpose. <coughs> moth were uh, filled with the 10% uh, sucrose solution with growing leaves. leaves. The, these are the under laboratory conditions with their insect rearing in the indoor insect rearing cage. Uh, eggs masses were kept into the separate glass petri plate. Eggs were examined daily. Incubation period was uh, recorded. The larvae were uh, re reared in the ground glass jar uh, provided with the fresh growing tips. The next chemicals of the chemicals and the reagents of the protein estimation or what you call as the protein assay requirements. The sodium carbonate, bovine serum aluminum, uh, and disodium tartarate. Uh, copper sulfate and the uh, following chico reagent, uh, sodium hydroxide, bovine serum aluminum, these are the chemicals required for the protein assay. The next method uh, methods, 
the preparation of the larva homogenized the larva where the place in the chilling ice homogenized by the for 15 minutes larvae from the 5th day to 16th day where they used the study the larvae were uh, rinsed up in the that distilled water wet uh, was measured the homogenate prepared in the double distilled cold water these are the uh, methods for the preparation of the homogenate the larva homogenate dissolved in the double distilled water cold water to obtain the desired percentage of the concentration the homogenate where the taken the centrifuge tube and the centrifugation carried out the 10 minutes and the superment obtained after centrifugation used for ammonium precipitation then next the preparation of the reagent for protein estimation reagent first that is the 2% of the Na2CO3 in the one normal NaOH reagent B 1% of the sodium tartarate reagent C the 0.5% the CuSO4 reagent D that is the uh, italic one that is the mix 48 ml reagent A and the 1 ml of the reagent B and then make the reagent D then next the reagent D, the one part of the falling chico reagent and one part of the water that is the reagent second and the standard uh, for the standard graph we use the bovine serum albumin that is the 1 mg per ml then next the estimation of the protein by the lorry method this is the wild, uh, wild method for use the estimation of the proteins in this method we take the 0.5 ml 1% larva homogenate that is the hellula and alice and the 4.5 ml reagent first and the, uh, incubate the room temperature for the 10 minutes then next we, point, we add the 0.5 ml reagent second and incubate the room temperature for the 30 minutes the blue purple colors was obtained the, the optical density measured by the colorimetric method by the 7, 715 nm Sorry, anyway. Standard graph for the protein is the protein estimation. We use the bovine serum albumin for the standard graph. Bovine serum albumin standard 1 mg per ml procedure. The 10 mg BSA, the, these are the methods for the uh, BSA uh, bovine serum albumin standard for standard graph. We use the uh, procedure the 10 mg BSA dissolved in the 10 ml of 1 normal NaOH. Then uh, concentration in the test tube that is the 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 ml BSA added in the test tube making a total volume of 1 ml that is the point uh, by 0 0.1 normal NMH. Then next 4.5 ml reagent was added, reagent first added in each test tube into at the 10 minutes. Then after 0 0.5, uh, then after 0 0.5 ml reagent second added in test tube incubate for the 30 minutes. Optical then uh, uh, there is a blue purple color is obtaining and this color optin, uh, optical density is measured by the color metric that is the 750 nm and plotted with the standard graph. Estimation amount of the protein from the standard graph in mg. The next result we, uh, we studied the larval development of the helicobacter in the 16 days for the 4 days to the 10 days and the 10 days to the sorry 11 days to the 16 days. These are the protein changes because of uh, highly uh, the maximum protein content observed into the 10 days larvae because of the these are the growing stages of the larva then uh, uh, 10 days is the ma uh, ma ma maximum activity or maximum proteins are observed then after 10 days to or, uh, 11 days to 16 days there is a low content of the protein then next the protein content of 5 day larva uh, was uh, 22% per, uh, less than the 10 day larva protein content of 16 day larva that is the 18.52 uh, less than these are the measurements for less than and the larger than that is the 5th day larvae and the 16 day larvae hmm? these are the arithmetic mean and the standard deviation respectively uh, 0.0 0.0286 and 0.594 that is the arithmetic mean and the standard deviation of the our research these are the results uh, we uh, plotted the larval larval days larval development in the days and here is the protein in the mg these are the lar these are the larval stages during the uh, fourth day to 16th day and the maximum protein obtained in the 10th day these are the gra graph showing the protein the changes in the protein during the larval development of cellula and delis uh, discussion the larva have development period was found the 13 days uh, in present study changes protein developed the maximum protein content in the 10 days uh, of adult and maximum protein content is noted in the 16 day of larvae 
of cellular disease. This protein contains the five-day larva was the same as it is uh, automatic mean and the standard deviation of the cellular and disease. We mentioned in the previous slide. Uh, then in present study, the increase in the protein in the five days larval development of cellular and disease early feeding the period of the larval development. So just the fast growing larva required for more energy. These are the requirements for the proteins uh, in the larval insect. Uh, in the decrease of the protein uh, from the six, uh, 10 day to 16 day indicates shows the finding period of larva accumulation of the protein for pupil stage. Uh, there are the recent references there is the changes in the amino acid composition and the protein technical uh, functionality of edible insects insect, that is the references Kim et al. in 2020. Then next the functional properties of the extra type protein the edible insect and the, their interaction with the transgenulation. Uh, acknowledgement, in acknowledgement we grateful, uh, we grateful the principal Dr. Vilaskaray, Srimati KRP, Kanya Mahavidal, Islampur and we are uh, also thankful the principal of the Dr. S.B. Kemba, S.B. Kengar, YC College, uh, YC College, Karat. Uh, to administrative help and research work and we are also grateful, uh, grateful to Sarti to providing the financial support that is the GRF. A reference SV references, in reference SV recent represent only quoted in the recent references that is the Istagar and Chube in 2019 changes in the protein profile and scapsulation avoiding the response in endophagic nematode and the automatic ball bone that is the Helicoverpa argimera. These are the reference, recent references. Thank you.